Welcome to this week's OSAP analysis, everyone. We're going to take a look at a really sweet reverse half guard transition from Gabriel Marias here on bottom. He's up against Thomas Lisboa, and this is from the 2014 World Championships. So let's play it out at full speed first. You're going to see him try to get a hook underneath this leg with his right leg. Lisboa is going to try to come on top, and then Marias gets, gets the back by getting his head under the arm. So it's pretty fast. We're going to have to slow it down really examine all the transitions. So we're going to start out here. We're going to first examine the grips that Marias has. So he has this leg locked down. His outside leg is coming in over top. It's triangled behind his uh, inside leg, which is under the foot. His right hand is grabbing the collar right by the shoulder. And you'll see he's going to use this to help try to tilt Lisboa backwards. His left arm is running above the hips, behind the back, and is grabbing the, uh, the lapel, this lapel right here. Okay, so now as we play it out, the first thing that's going to happen, he's going to take this outside leg and he's going to try to switch it underneath to get a hook right here. So there he goes. There's that hook. Now normally what you do from this reverse half guard position is you use this hook to start to tilt the guy backwards. You post your other leg under you. With this hand you can push the shoulder back and then you get on top for your sweep. Now Lisboa does a really good thing with his left arm in that he just runs it underneath this leg, grabbing his own shin. So if Marias tries to go for the sweep here, he can't post this left leg down. Okay, And also without bringing this leg under you, you can't turn your hips in towards your opponent. So you can't finish on top really. Now the next step in this transition is Lisboa is going to try to clear this hook off of his leg. So he's going to let this grip go real fast and try to pull this leg back behind him and let this hook slip out. So as you run the tape further, he's actually going to get what he's looking for. So right there, boom. So you see that leg just cleared off this hook. Now what's going to happen is Lisboa wants to square his hips onto uh, Marias right now to get on top. So you see how he's being kind of tilted backwards. Now as he tries to get on top, You'll see the leg that was originally under this one catches the other thigh right here, okay? And the really impressive part is what Marias' left leg does. He actually catches the back of this calf with his foot. Okay, so we're going to rewind a little bit, and we're going to pay attention to this left leg now. So as Lisboa steps this leg back and clears the hook, you'll see the left leg go under right there, and he's going to catch that calf right here. Now, for Lisboa, he has basically one of two ways to try to get on top. If this foot wasn't on the calf, okay, despite this other hook being there, he could step this leg back behind him okay, and square his hips up to the mat, and he's fine. If this hook wasn't there, but the calf one was still there, he would just step this leg over top and square his hips up to the mat. But with both of these two, he's kind of just stuck here, and he can't turn his hips to face the mat. So from here, you see he posts his foot a little bit. Now, the next thing that's going to happen is Lisboa's body is going to move more over top of Marias. It's hard to tell who initiates the motion. He may be pushing off the ground to try to get over top of him. But what he really doesn't want is he doesn't want to get swept backwards. Okay, so you'll see the body is going to shift over top right here. And now all that Marias is going to do now is he's going to duck his head under this arm. There he goes, slips his head out underneath, and then he's right on the back. Okay, really beautiful kind of three-step combo. So let's rewind it. Watch it one more time in slow motion. So here comes the hook. Again, this bow is controlling that other leg. He's going to try to kick that hook off. Rise catches the calf and the thigh with his legs. Still applying that sweet pressure. As his bow comes over top, he's gonna duck the head under and end up right on right on the back. Okay, let's go full whoop, full speed. Yeah, it all happens really, really fast. Boom. There's a scissor, head goes under, and now he's on the back. I hope you guys like this analysis. For more, please check out my Facebook and subscribe to me on YouTube. Thanks.